Hello guys, welcome back to play here and uh, we're gonna go through in another exclusive release my friend Rick Dangerous has provided me his uh, 64 gig 1000 exact ROMs image it's uh, top selections only, something that uh, I always uh, in favor and um, so it's starting is this the first boot uh, and i burned this on my usb nvme case again and uh, we'll see how it starts i want to set up now the keyboard okay let's connect all right so up, down, left, right, start, select, enter, escape, AS, insert, page up, control, control. As I said, I'm using usually a keyboard, so uh, I'm just doing the same setup that you've seen already in the previous um, image review by my friend Virtual Man. So we're going to go through this one together. And we're going to expand the. Now, my friend Rick Dangerous, he likes a lot and he's in favor of the carbon theme because it's nice, clean, and to the point. So he has, okay, here we have the options, the old games, 1000 exactly games, the favorites, 17 favorite games, let's see. Okay, I think he has swapped as far as i know he likes to swap the a and b so then escape would be yep that's what i thought so we're gonna go back and do that i'm gonna replace it so let's go to retro pi let's go to retro pi setup so basically by reversing the a and b it's something that he's using uh, for his personal uh, setups and stuff um, but for you guys and for me for example like you know we want to have a as the select and b as back so let's go configuration now and here the retro pie setup is working fine so let's go to i think it's in emulation yep and there we have it says currently swapped so i'm going to click here so now is the default i'm going to go back 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 exit zoom so let's go back to virtual pi and let's go to actually we can do it the other way we can go f6 go to configure Yes, and let's try again. Okay. All right, now that the swap our button is reversed and I reconfigure the controller, everything is okay. So the enter is going in. So here we have his... Uh, favorites he has video snaps for every single game as far as i know he done an amazing job he just handpicked everything so let's go and take a look amiga we have a hundred games exactly so there's agony he has um, the mixed art he has video snap
go to the top. Very nice. And now we have the arcade. Let's go back. Arcade, we have 150 games. Atari 2650 games. Sega Master System 50. Mega Drive 150. Neo CDs 25. Neo Geo <coughs> 25. Nintendo Entertainment NES 100. Now we have uh, MS DOS 20. Very nice. So we have PC Engine 20 games, PC Engine. The ones that you see is just text. This is because there's no logo on the carbon theme so we're just using plain uh, fonts so we said PC Engine 10 games let's take a quick look Castlevania Rondo of Blood Dungeon Explorer 2 Dynastic Hero I think that Similar to the Wonder Boy, I think, right? So I like the fact that he's using just selective titles. He's very nice and not uh, too many that uh, it would be unplayable. So that would be a great <coughs> base image. Uh, 64, actually, not a base, a 64 gig image with great games to play. So Scan VM. 25 games. Let's see what he has here. Beneath the Steel Sky, Blade Runner, Broken Sword, Side of the Templars, Curse of the Monkey Island, Day of the Tentacle, The Dig, Discworld, Discworld 2, Force Portal, Indiana Jones, Fate of Atlantis, and Mass Crusade, Island of Dr. Brain, King Quest 1, Loom, Maniac Mansion, Mani Ma uh, Monkey Island 2, Police Quest 2, Simon Max Hit the Road, Secret of the Monkey Island, Simon Sor Sorcerer, The Sorcerer, Space Quest 4, to struck to share the adventures of the fifth musketeer Zach McCracken and the alien mind banders that was my first adventure game point and click I ever played I got me hooked up on the arcade games so Sega CD we have 25 games Super Nintendo 150 games Sinclair's set spectrum I know uh, Rick and Juice spend a lot of time in configuring most of these systems and uh, tested the games, all of them as far as I know. That's why he has specific games. It took him um, the last few months to do work on it and make these uh, snaps and check everything, scrape. So now we'll go back to RetroPie. So we're going to go now to see the PS menu. So we have sound settings 77%. Um, that's a great setting. I usually go for 85, and when I'm recording, if there's a background music, I go to 65, which is perfect and doesn't um, interfere with the recording. Now, I can go back to 75 is fine. Audio card. No, that's fine. Default PCM device is fine. Enable navigation sounds. Yes, enable. Now, OMX player device. It's both. So um, we can go back and user set inter yeah, interface settings. So we have screens. We'll leave it like that. Full, quick select, constant transition, fade. Uh, carbon, automatic, okay, game collections, we have two, which is the all games and favorites, customs, he doesn't have any, and I know he's working on the Zanra collections, so that's another great addition that will be, 
Now we have the group Anthem Casting Collections, so everything that is Anthem will go to one folder called Casting Collections, sort Casting Collections the system. This can go to on if you want everything to be from A to Z sorted. And then we'll go back, other settings. He's got VRAM limit to 80. You can go up to 90, it's fine. And um, what else we need to do? And all this US OMX player, all these things are off, which is fine, especially this one. And uh, so hidden files in case if you want to see some hidden files, which is not uh, needed, especially for average or uh, new users. And then we have, so he has emulation station uh, version 2.9.0. And uh, let's check the retro pass setup, which I know we went before, but we didn't pay attention. See the version. So it's 4, 5, 13, three weeks ago. And if we do the update, I think it's going to go, I think, to yesterday, probably today. So let's go exit. And now what I want to do, I want to go to the CLI and see, okay, we have 59 gigs, 53 used, 3.9. So it's 94% used. That's the actual image. My um, USB, it's uh, 512. So I will try to expand it. And in the meantime, before I do that, I have to connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, and uh, I'll be back once I put the custom expand USB expand on, uh, binary that I need to test and see if it works or not on this image. Uh, this is a Pi 3 that I have. And it's connected, uh, the USB connected directly to the USB port, no SD. So it's booting directly from the USB. So. I'll be back. Okay, let's do a couple other changes for you international guys. Now we need to change the locale because the locale on the image, as you can see, is English, Great Britain, UTF-8. So we need the US if you use an international US keyboard. And that's something we can do with sudo raspy das and config and then we go to localization go to change locale and we go page down we find the engb so we press space to deselect and then we go to en us utf tab okay and then you can select English US UTF again, okay. All right, so we can go again to number option four, and then we'll go to keyboard layout and make sure that is at the general 105, yeah it is. So let's select the 105, then you see it's, the layout is UK, so we need to make this other, and we go to US, and we select US on the top, and then the default, no compose key, you can leave it like, like that, and we can go finish, and let's test, yep, now it's typing So let's see what we have. We have SDA, which is uh, the FAT, the boot partition, and we have the root of FES, the external X4 partition. So let's see what we have. So we have, it says that the root is 59 gigs, 53. That was because of the original uh, image, and it has 3.9. So Rick Dangerous left. 3.9 so, uh, gigs free, so you have 95% and 
used from that image, original image. So let's try now that I have imported my custom binary to expand the USB. And let's try, so let's 2p, actually sudo 2p2 expand so that's going to be on uh, playbox version 2 and the pi 4 uh, playbox so let's try so you see it says to play raspberry pi software configuration tool it's a custom raspberry config so we go to advanced options and then expand usb so let's run this and it says it's resized so let's see after the reboot if it is actually resized so we'll go finish and reboot now all right guys welcome back and uh, we're back in the es after the boot of the resize so now i'm going to press the form go to the command line and see what is the result of the expansion okay there you are it worked fine so we have a 470 gigs and 53 used and 399 available so only 20 12 percent so as i said this is direct boot from the usb nvme that i have and um, this custom recipe config works fine uh, the only problem I have so far, it doesn't work if you use an SD card and the USB to boot. So uh, keep that in mind and hopefully when the Pi 4 will be fixed too, the custom binder that I'm going to include, it will just do the same thing and uh, same fast way you can expand your SD card. Now you can expand uh, any drive or SSD or anything USB, mass storage device that you connect to the USB and boot your uh, emails from there. All right, guys, that's uh, the end of this video. Thank you um, again for watching and uh, please subscribe if you like the contents and uh, it helps me and motivates me to keep on doing nice videos for you guys. So if you have any requests, please join the Discord and uh, ask uh, specific things here that you might uh, need and uh, feel free to check and search our uh, guide uh, uh, sub-channel in the, on the Discord and uh, I have many many of the guides in text or videos that I've already done and you can find there. So again thank you very much and see you soon.